Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. And in this video, how lazy can we get at detailing without messing with our results? And I think one way to do that is through charged sprayers, whether it's battery powered or air powered. One of the biggest things that I hate about detailing cars is having to deal with trigger sprayer, trigger fatigue, uh, that kind of thing. Having to deal with that, why can't we just go to maybe a battery powered one or maybe a air compressed one? I have four different kinds here. I'm gonna go over each one. Uh, we'll do some testing, uh, how well they spray uh, with just water, and then we'll move on to uh, W5 right here, all purpose from G-Technic, uh, W6 fallout remover, which is a much thicker liquid, and we'll see how each one does with that and which one is the ultimate sprayer. So what are we using now? We have a single pump sprayer and a double pump sprayer. Double pump sprayer, one in, and then it goes out. So you get twice the spray, per pull. Helps with trigger fatigue, helps you cover area a lot quicker. You also have the single spray, which is just single spray, it's just a cheap bottle. Then we have the IK sprayer, which you still have to pump by hand. Uh, I use this for, if I need more chemicals for a big maintenance wash, or I'm using Easy Coat for my rinse aid. So that's the overview of the products. I did invest quite a bit in this. There is no sponsors here. There is no uh, review for free or anything like that. So this cost me about like 160 bucks to make this video. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Anything in this video, the Amazon links will be below. That helps out the channel as well. I get a little bit of cut of that. So let's get right into the testing. So the first one here is the first info. You know how nice the top is here with the trigger and everything and it does have like i said a stream here a jet stream and then just a spray uh, the can the outer shell seems to be a little thin i would be worried about putting too much pressure in here i didn't put more than 90 in this one uh that's the sure shot the the uh, can here is just nice, thick, heavy duty. I'm not worrying about it blowing up on me. This plastic head right here is really nice, high quality. Stainless steel pieces everywhere, just really nice quality. The Echo Kai, I mean, obviously, this thing is, you know, it's, it's, it's cheaper. Uh, it works, it's meant for like misting plants, but I think it can work for chemicals. As long as you're cleaning this out, both of these out at the end of each time that you use it, but uh, the bottle is a good size. Uh, it does have to where you can see what liquids in here, but the measuring's kind of off. It's just got one measuring line here and a bunch of weird percentages up here. I don't know what that means. It does have adjustable tip. The Solo right here is really nice. The bottle is nice, but it, it as well does not have any um, measuring on it except for one single point here that tells you, you know, a mark for one liter, which is right there. Uh, adjustable nozzle. So both of these come with USB cables to charge. This one actually does come with USB-C, a proprietary uh, charging port here that's uh, not micro USB or USB-C. Both of these, the issue that I have with them when you plug them in, the, the uh, Echo Kai plugs in back here, the Solo plugs in in the back as well. There are no indicator lights that it's either charging or fully charged. So you're just kind of guesstimating whether it's actually charging and working or not. This one still was not cheap at like 30, 40, bu 40 bucks I think. This was about 70 something dollars. This one was 20-ish, and like I said, this one was uh, around 32 or 33 dollars. These, I would stick to uh, chemicals that are pH neutral. I wouldn't use anything highly acidic or uh, something that's just really powerful. Everything I use is pH neutral because it's safe for coatings on cars. So these use a valve stem, just like you would on your wheels or your bicycle tires or anything like that. Smaller one, the first info, actually has a threaded piece right here which is nice because you can lock onto it. The short shot does not. The short shot is just straight um, steel. There is no thread. The first info, I'm gonna put this on there and I will hold it because it does tend to escape. And I'm gonna fill it up. That was 93. Now this one, I kind of just pull down like this. That was 94. So we have the first info to use first. I'll show you how it works with the spray tip out. You can see it's a pretty decent pressure. Then also when you push it down, you have a spray. So it's definitely a lighter spray, which probably in the long run, you'll use less product than you would probably on these more powerful ones. So for the sure shot, now this right here is really can do mist. Look at that, it's just like, Mist. So you can like you can get a lot of product in there without using a lot of product. You're getting really good coverage that way. 
then you can do an adjustment to where you're getting a pretty decent spray. If you're wanting to get some little bit of pressure, you can go even further out. That's why I said it works really good with like uh, brake cleaner and stuff like that. But even like water gun spikes. Think about having this when you were a kid, you know, compressed air filling it up and you just sit there and you could just have water gun fights, you know? The Solo, it's just a push trigger. It's like a little stainless steel button. This one can get really misty as well. Not as misty as the Sure Shot, but you can just see the nice even coverage. Then you also can obviously adjust to get different amounts of liquid on there, different spray patterns. So the Echo Kai. Now the Echo Kai, to turn it on, you have to hold this down for like five seconds and it will just start spraying, <laughs> okay? And then turn it off, you hit the button. Uh, so you can see we can get a pretty decent mist. This, for convenience wise, is actually pretty good because you just push the button and you just let it go. And then when you're done, you just push the button again. You can adjust back out as well to get, that's probably a decent coverage right there. Turn it off completely. You hold the button for another five seconds. There's a little blue light back here. That blue light goes off. Now, in order to get the chemicals in there, we have to relieve all the compressed air, which is the downfall to these two right here. Uh, in order to do anything with them, you have to completely get rid of all of the air. A tool or something right here to release the air from here, like that. Just a tube with plastic here, which is um, why I don't know if acidic would work with this. Brake cleaner might work with it, but like I said, there's a lot of plastic parts here. This one holds probably about 12 ounces to 13 ounces. Same with this one. There's really no other way to relieve air other than to just push the finger and let it go. You can spray product out until it's empty, but this one takes a lot longer. There's a lot more volume in here. As you can see, metal tube, uh, metal everything here. This is definitely meant for heavy duty applications, heavy chemicals. Um, this holds, I believe you could put up to 24 ounces in here. I, I measure it holds about 36 ounces of total liquid. Uh, the other one holds about 20. So I think you can go about 20 or so, but I've only done 16 to 18 ounces in here just to be safe. So these two, you don't have to worry about it. These two, you can just sit there all day long, change tops, do this and that. But this one is proprietary. The top on this, the type of uh, thread and size is basically only meant for this. The Solo is the most versatile of the bunch. It just screws off the top and comes with a surgical uh, silicone type um, siphon tube with a weighted ball. This works with every single type of uh, bottle that you can really see out there. Most of the normal tops, chemical guys bottle, G-Technic bottle, the AgriPro double pump sprayer. That right there is actually a great combination. I think this size. So we have the first info. This is filled with W5 uh, from uh, G-Technic. It's just an all purpose uh, cleaner and uh, just a lot like your simple green and stuff, but it is pH neutral and coating safe. So it definitely foams it up a little bit more. So the Sure Shot, let's try this in full mist. We have not lost any misting capability. And obviously it's definitely helping agitate the mixture way more then the other one, that's another good thing about this. It helps agitate and creates a little bit of foam. It's always more effective. Okay, so the solo ball, you can see the consistency of the liquid. It's, it's almost waterish. It's a little bit thicker than the water. All right, the solo on full mist mode. You see, we do not have not lost any of our misting capabilities. You can see the wind is blowing that really fine mist. So we switch a little bit over to a little bit better spray. That right there agitates real well. Now, one thing I've noticed about the Echo Kai or Echo Key, uh, it does automatically turn itself off if you forget to. So you have to hold that button down again. There we go. We have not lost our misting capability. It does seem to struggle a little more with this thicker liquid. Let's go with something, there we go. A little more coverage. You can hear it, it seems to be struggling a little more with this thicker liquid. Okay, so the last liquid, this is W6 Fallout from G-Technic. 
It's a much thicker uh, liquid, sticky, um, you know, consistency to it. Yeah, this is definitely struggling to, to shoot it. As you can see, it's shooting more of a stream because it can't do the, um, you know, the mist. Let's try the short shot. I got it all the way on mist. Oh, it can still miss this part. And look at that. Like, my problem is with the wind, you're going to get stuff somewhere you don't want it. So let's go more towards something like that. You can see we can spray and get a nice thick coating. You can see how nice and thick that is. So the OK Kai, we're going to put on full mist. See what happens. Turn it on. Oh, yeah, it's struggling. You see it doesn't like that. Let's try a different kind of stream. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it doesn't like that thick of a liquid. So here's the Solo on full mist. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Now you can see it's not the full mist that it was earlier. Uh, you can hear it struggling just a little bit with the thicker liquid. Let's try a little bit more coverage. There we go. That's some thick stuff right there. So my final thoughts, and this was just a no frills uh, video. We just went straight out there, we sprayed it. I know sunlight was horrible, but I, that's all I got to deal with. Now when it comes to the air compressed ones, the short shot is my pick. I mean, it's it's like a little toy for me. I mean, it, it, it's fun, it's sturdy, it's heavy. I mean, it, it just hits everything that you'd want. You have water gun fights with it. It's, just, it's perfect, it shoots thick liquids and mist, agitates really well. Uh, just awesome. Another issue with this one right here is when you release the air, if there's a lot of liquid in there, about half full, liquid will start shooting out of this port uh, and it starts bubbling out of this when you take the top off. The short shot, not so much. Uh, it didn't have those kind of issues. So the overall winner by far is the Solo. I mean, it's versatile, comes with a one liter bottle with the compressed air. You don't have to keep filling this up. If you want to change bottles, you can use any kind of bottle. Like I said, it should be a chemical guys bottle, a G-Technic bottle. Um, the Solo bottle, the Agri Pro bottle, I mean, it just works with any of the normal ones. I think it'll work with a water bottle top, who knows. Um, but that gives you the versatility to have multiple bottles, but only one spray top if you don't want to spend the money. Now, you could have a spray top for every single one of them, uh, but I prefer moving the spray top around. Having a small bottle of deionized water to, you know, spray the older chemical out uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, kind of store this away, uh, and I think it'll work awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be Amazon links for all of this below. Go hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. We're back from BMW Invasion and I figured, oh my God. Hey there, Internet Keep here and welcome to the Cars and Keep video. Oh my gosh. Hey there, Internet Keep here and welcome to the Cars and Keep YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. The best way I think is recharged. Uh, oh my gosh. And they both work really well. Uh, double, double, and they both work really well. Then we have the like mm. copyright music on my bloopers now. <laughs> it's called Ekoi Eko Kai. Eko Kai Eko Ki. And then we'll find out which one is the best in the end. Let's get it. Comes with a really nice surgical type. Um, this works every single type. This works with every single type of, of uh, the Agrifap double pump sprayer bottle. The Agrifap double, the Ag... Battery, pa battery powered ones. This one serves its purposes.